Hello, this is a different context, a different format, a different way of doing things. It's just that life uh, sometimes takes a very uh, strange turn. I'm currently in Quebec City in a hospital in the intensive care unit. My mother-in-law a few days ago had a severe stroke, a cerebral vascular incident. Sorry, I'm not very versed in this kind of lingo and I'm recording on my phone and uh, she was put on a respirator for a few hours and now uh, she was unhooked and we're waiting for the rest of her natural life. It's always difficult to say goodbye to someone you love, you care. Yet at the same time, as a friend reminded me this morning, these are holy moments when we can have access to the divine. If we take time to be in the moment, and to live our emotion. And it's also something that reminds me of the gospel according to Luke chapter 21, verse uh, 6, when Jesus says, As for these things that you see, sorry, I'm reading at the same time, the day will come when not one stone will be on one another and will be thrown down. Of course, Jesus was speaking of the temple, but it's a reminder of when we we are what the Buddhists call in state of impermanence. Everything that exists right now, everything that is living will eventually cease. So where all of this brings us? Well, don't wait for tomorrow. Focus on today, focus on the instant, focus on the moment, focus on what is beautiful in life. Tomorrow will come fast enough and take care of yourself and take care of your loved one. Tell them you love them and don't forget. As a new creed says, in life, in death, in life beyond death, we're never alone. Thanks be to God. Take care of yourself and bye-bye.